Hello adventurers, so I am here in the garage and some time ago if you've been watching my videos you would have seen a video about Calvary where the cyclone came through, wiped out a whole half the town and a whole heap of people needed uh, generators of power and uh, Mickey, Mickey from Mickey Blue Generators, um, I contacted him and he came to the party and he helped out 50 plus people up there with generators and we pretty well sold him out of generators in Western Australia but he's got some more in stock and I went and picked one up of my own, uh, mainly for the trips when you go down south fishing and it's uh, short days, cloudy, hopefully you catch a lot of fish and you need to run your freezer flat out. Um, my solar um, works fine for camping um, but doesn't really um, keep up in those sorts of circumstances so I thought I'd get a generator for those times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this generator on the scope and just see what the sine wave uh, coming out of this generator is like, see if it's stable, compare it to the mains, compare it to my inverter, compare it to another inverter that I have, a cheaper one. We'll just have a look at what comes out and see if the uh, power coming out of this is clean and uh, up to spec. Um, I've already loaded this up and I've already uh, played around with it a bit. It definitely, uh, definitely pulls its um, uh, 3000 watts easily and it's uh, three and a half peak. But uh, let's see what that sine wave does under a bit of load and uh, make sure it, it uh, hangs in there. So let's get on with it. So I've got that on the bench. I'll put that on the ground. Here's the scope. At the moment, you might not be able to see that trace. I will um, get a different camera on a slower shutter speed to uh, so you can see that but that's mains power um, that is hooked into the mains power and that's what would expect a perfect sine wave to look like and uh, we'll get this on the ground and we'll hook it up and uh, get it started and see what happens with uh, the Mickey Blue. All right let's get this down it weighs about 26 kilos this thing so it's uh, not light all right, so we have to we'll hook the scope into the uh, AC and we have to ground this. Um, because the scope is hooked into the mains, um, it's grounded uh, because it's, uh, the earth pin's the same on the mains. But once we go to the generator, we have to earth uh, on this earth pin um, and ground the scope. So we'll, uh, we'll get that organized. All right, we'll plug in, plug in the mains there. We'll just plug on this. This is uh, red, but it's actually an earth. Uh, we'll just hook it onto that little earth pin there. Okay. And if you can see that, I'll bring the other camera in, but um, the trace is flat because the engine obviously isn't going. All right, we just got to start this up. So we turn on eco mode, we'll turn the engine on, we'll put it on. Um, choke, and we'll give it a pull. Okay, I hope you can hear me with that running. But as you can see, there we have a sine wave. We can adjust some of the settings here. That's pretty well a perfect sine wave. Hopefully the other camera's picking that up. And if you pull off the uh, earth, you'll see it'll usually go down a little bit. Yeah, it goes a bit flatter. So that's about as perfect a sine wave as you'll want to see. And it, it's comparable to the mains power. And if you turn it off, It'll just go um, dead flat. It doesn't splutter or, or do too much like that. That's going to flat out, down. If you turn it off, it just goes flat the minute that it can't hold it. So no surging, um, nothing like that. We'll turn this back on and we'll put a bit of a load on it. So I have a heat gun, it's a 2000 watt heat gun. There's a sine wave on the display there now. And if I turn this on, you'll see it hardly moves. Flat out, 
medium and off. And that sine wave's holding uh, pretty steady. This scope's not a really expensive one, so it flips around a little bit. But... Okay, well, what we'll do now is um, we'll put on um, another uh, inverter to, to show you the difference. I've got the car here and I've got my inverter in the back, so I'm just going to run a cord over and plug it in and get that set up. And we'll run off the car inverter and that'll show the sine wave coming out of that. And that sine wave is, um, I've tested it and it's nearly as good as this, but there's one thing that uh, is, makes it slightly different, but um, it's just the way that the inverter works. But we'll get that set up and I'll uh, let you take a look at it. So we're hooked up to the car. An interesting thing you'll see on here is it's like a double sine wave. It's a perfect sine wave, like the Jenny and like the power, but it's like a double sine wave. Um, I've got a friend who's an engineer who sort of explained that to me. I'm not going to try and re-explain it, but it's just to do with the electronics um, and some of the harmonics in the in the inverter. But that is uh, not uncommon, um, I'm, I'm told. So. But it's a perfect sine wave, so that sine wave inverter wouldn't harm any sensitive electronics. It's very similar to the mains and very similar to the, to the Mickey Blue. So um, that's what you should expect. So I've got this really cheap one here, and I'll hook that up and uh, I'll show you the difference between what a sine wave inverter or generator or the AC should put out and what these very cheap um, sort of modified square wave or square wave inverters put out. Alrighty. This is the very cheap modified square wave. And as you can see here, I'll get a bit of a pointer here. As you can see here, that's the top, the middle and the bottom of the square wave. You can't see the, the verticals. This is not fast enough to scan them, but all you need to look at is, it, the, you can see it as it goes over, it should join down. But as you can see, they're very wavy, they're on angles, and they're definitely not signed, they're square but not a very good square. So that's the sort of um, output you get out of a very cheap um, square wave or modified square wave inverter. And you can see why it's not very good for um, you know, sensitive electronics, uh, phone chargers, switch mode power supplies and things like that. Um, and it should be used on very simple AC um, uh, components that you wanna plug in. That's about uh, you know, as bad as it gets. So a modified, Square wave would be a little bit better, and then sine wave is obviously the best. So uh, keep away from these very cheap inverters. That's a 150 watt. Don't know where that come from, but it's uh, very cheap. So what I'm going to show you now is I've turned the fuel off on this, and it's going to run out of fuel. And I'm going to show you the sine wave and how that reacts as it runs out of fuel. And I tested this earlier, and there's not a lot of um, change. It's just is a perfect sine wave and then it just goes flat. So what that means is when it runs out of fuel, it's not going to uh, spike your electronics or your fridge with the surges. So let's wait for it to run out of fuel and um, see what happens. And there you go, it went from being perfect to being dead flat. So no surges up and downs um, in the quality of the power. So that means that you can safely just run this thing out of fuel um, in the middle of the night uh, if you're just leaving it on your freezer until uh, you know, the fuel tank goes empty for the morning. And just as a reference, um, there is mains power hooked back up and that's uh, uh, what mains gives you in uh, Perth. So there you go, Ventures. That is a, just a bit of a quick, um, a quick look at the quality of the power uh, coming out of the Mickey Blue generator. Um, I guess most people start with uh, a review stating that uh, they're not biased and all that. Well, it's not really a review, but I'm not going to say I'm not biased because um, with what happened to Cal Barry and the, and the conversation I've had with uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey from Mickey Blue after that, um, I would be a little bit biased. But uh, at the end of the day, this is a, he puts together a really good uh, generator. It's up there with the best of them. Um, I bought this, so um, he gave me a little bit of a, a discount just from... Uh, what we did at Calbarry, but I pr paid a um, pretty good price for it. So, um, yeah, it's not a uh, 
not an unbiased review, not a biased review, but uh, obviously he's looked after us. So yeah, till the next one, have a good one and I'll uh, catch you on the next video.